with Shell from Tangi Library, Baby and Me, and we are back in the Hammond branch for another story time. Um, I am super excited about it. We have a lot of sign language this week because we have three colors this month. Um, but before we get started, we're going to do our beginning song. And this month, we're going to go with Do Your Ears Hang Low. Um, it's one that we did in some of our music and movement. And um, I just want us to practice it a little bit more. Um, and so here we go. All right. Do you remember it? Do, so you grab your ears. And this is actually the sign language for ear, too. If you just grab your ear. That's how you would do it in sign language. So, do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? And you just kind of pull tight. Can you tie them in a bow and make the loops? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? And you can salute however you want. Okay, that's up to you, however you salute. Like a continental soldier, do your ears hang low? Okay? All right, we're gonna do it fast. Ready? Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? And the further we get into the month, we're, the faster we're gonna go. So you guys are gonna have to practice with me, okay? All right, so we have three different colors this month. And the reason for that is, it is Black History Month. And so we are celebrating the fact that black people who have come to our country have a history that is rich and deep and all of their own through the trials that they went through before the Civil War. Um, through getting their rights and who they are as people and a culture now. We celebrate that all month long and it's really, really um, great, especially if you're not a black person. Like I don't always know all the things that I need to know and so I can ask my friends or I can read a book um, so that I can learn about a different culture. Um, and so Miss Lauren has done a really pretty display of some books that you can check out that will teach you a little bit about black history and um, people who were important in black history. And so I hope that you'll come in. Every library is going to have displays for you, um, activities for you this entire month. Um, every programmer is going to be doing black history themed things. But because, the reason I picked these three colors are because they're the color of the African flag. And um, I didn't wanna do just black, because that's black history, because black people come in all different shades. And so we don't wanna just say, oh, it's this color, because really no, none of them are a full dark, 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 dark black. Um, they're different shades of brown, and that's perfect, just like uh, there are some um, white people who are tanner than I am. I'm pretty white, white, um, and I, except in the summer, and then I turn pink like a lobster. That's just what we do, okay? So our first color is, do, you know, do we know what this color is? It's got an alligator and an apple and a leaf and a tree and a pear and a snail and a crayon. Do we know what that is? That's green. Now the sign language for green, there are two different ways we can do it, but you're gonna put your fingers like this either way, okay? So you're gonna make a little pinchy, pinchy finger and you can either just do green where you move it away from you or sometimes they do green where they flip it like that, okay? But either way, it's, the, it's your pointer finger and your thumb and you make it like you're going, it's about this big and you just can go straight out where you can't really see your thumb or you can flip it where you can, okay? So that's green. Our next one we had back at Christmas time, or no, in September, Pirate Week. I remember we used a little bit of this. Um, it's got a heart, it's got a tomato, a ladybug, a fire truck, a rose, watermelon, a crayon. What color is this one? It's red. So red in sign language, you take your finger and you just kind of do your bottom lip. 
just like that. And um, it's kind of like a pirate hook that you're just, or you can just pretend you're going, okay? Um, but you don't actually have to touch your lip, and especially right now during COVID, don't touch your mouth. Um, but just do your finger near your lip is all you really need to do. Okay, so that's red. And then our last color is uh, black. And it has a, these pictures. I really don't, I don't love them because it's a music note and music is all colors. Um, but there, there, is, there are black mice, but there are white mice and brown mice. And the zebra is black and white. I think, I think they could have done some better jobs with what they picked on this screen. But that is our color and that's what we're doing. So, hey. I didn't make the card, I just printed it out. Um, but black is you take those same two fingers like we did for green, but you just do them across your forehead. Just like, whoop. Just like you're kind of taking your hat and turning it around, okay? All right, and our shape this month is going to be a heart. And a heart, you just do heart, okay? So you can see a heart here on our red one. All right, are we ready for our story? Okay, so this is a story. Um, it's called Just Like Mama, and it's by Alice Faye Duncan and Charnel Pinkney Brown, Barlow, Barlow, not Brown. And um, it's about um, an, a little black girl, but she comes from a different kind of family. And so I want you to know that it doesn't matter what your family looks like. Maybe you live with grandma, maybe you live with just mom, maybe you live with just dad, maybe you live with somebody else, but this little girl lives with someone called Mama Rose. So let's read about her. And oh, I should tell you, we are reading this book with the permission of Simon and Schuster. They've been so good to us librarians, allowing us to read um, on our videos and in our read alouds. And so we're so thankful for that. Mommy and Daddy live miles away. I wish we lived together. Maybe one day that will be. I live with Mama Rose right now, and she is just like a mama to me. See them cooking together? Just like Mama, she combs my hair. She buttons my winter coat. And when I leave for school, she waves and shouts from her front porch, I love you, ladybug. Does your mama have something she calls you that's different from everybody else? My mom did not, but my dad called me Shadow because I was always following in places. Just like mama, she teaches me things like how to make my bed and dribble a basketball. She bought me a watch when I turned five and she taught me to tell time. She bought me a bike when I turned six and it is yellow like the sun. In the summer, we ride to the city park and we listen to the blackbirds sing. Does mama look really like a little scared that she's going down the hill fast and she can't keep up? She's like, oh no, what if she falls? Because that's our job as mamas to worry. Mama Rose tells me often, one day, child, when you grow up, you will spread your wings and fly. My mother and father live far away. I wish that we'd lived together. I wish that they were here, but I live with Mama Rose right now, and she's just like a mama to me. Just like a mama, she wrinkles her nose and calls my name when I don't eat dinner. Carol Olivia Clementine, green beans are good for you. Yes, ma'am, I say, and I wrinkle my nose and I go ahead and eat them because there is no chocolate cake unless I get my eat my vegetables. Sometimes I forget to make my bed. My bedroom is a mess and Mama Rose is not pleased. And just like mama, she points up the stairs and says, Carol, Olivia, Clementine, you have chores to do. I run along and clean my room. I know it's not perfect, but I do my very best and Mama Rose sings my name. Carol, Olivia, Clementine, 
you did a super job. See, there's a difference in how mamas talk when they're happy and when they're mad, huh? My mother and father live far away. I wish we lived together. I wish that they were here. I live with Mama Rose right now, and Mama Rose cares for me. Mama Rose is a hug and a kiss. Mama Rose is my home. She loves me like a mama, and I love Mama Rose. So you can see that um, this book is all about love and that it doesn't have to be our mom or our dad, but we can have other people who love us and Mama Rose really did take good care of her. And this week is Valentine's Day. So we have a special Valentine's Day craft for you to pick up at all six branches, okay? I hope that you will come and um, share pictures of your craft with me. Um, on Facebook or through email. My email is on just about everything. Um, but uh, any way that you can share a picture with me, I would love to see your beautiful faces. I miss you, miss you, miss you. All right, we're gonna finish with a felt story and then we're gonna do our, um, our turtles because we have to do the turtle song, right? Okay, so what? this is our shape for the month. This is a heart. And because it's Valentine's Day, we're gonna do a felt about hearts. Next week, it'll be a different thing, but um, we will still work on our hearts, okay. So five little hearts, all in a row. Mine aren't really in a row, huh? They're kind of all spread out, but that's okay. The first one said, I love you so. The second one said, will you be my Valentine? And the third one said, I will, if you'll be mine. So now they're Valentine's. The fourth one said, I will always be your friend. Now friend in sign language is two fingers hooked like that, friend. And the fifth one said, we'll be friends till the end. So the red one loves everybody. These two are Valentine's and these two are best friends. What do you think? Ready to do your turtle? All right, put your hand out. Get your thumb out for the head. You're gonna cover it with your other hand to make it shell. And this is the sign language for turtle. So, my mommy had a turtle. She named him Tiny Tim. She put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. And now he's home, sick in bed, with a bubble in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop! That's it, and that's all. I love you, Mwah! I miss you. Come see me at the Hammond Library. I look forward to seeing you guys all the time. Um, and when you visit, it just makes my whole day. Have a great week. Bye.